So Selena's doing all the things right now. And I guess I'm channeling my inner icon because I'm eating like Selena for a day. But first, let's go back to the Disney Channel days. Any minute now, he's gonna come over. I wonder what he's gonna say about my new video. Oh my God, he's here. We don't have a doorbell. It must be the toaster. <laughs> Hey, Beck. Oh, hey. Oh, did I catch you at a bad time? No, um, sit down. So, how are you? I'm good. But how are you? I'm good. Uh, anything special today? Special? Really? Do I have something on my face? <laughs> no. Maybe I do need a facial. I never understand why viewers don't realize that we're just adults playing teenagers. Hey, Will. So I guess he hasn't watched my video. Well, I'm gonna make sure he does. Likey, likey, Sherry. So, so have you watched my- Oh my gosh! So for breakfast, I'm going to be learning how to make the perfect French omelette. Omelette. French omelette. Omelette du fromage. And I'm going to be learning that from Selena's new cooking show, Selena and Chef. Selena filmed this entire cooking series during quarantine this year, and she was taught by some of the greatest chefs how to make awesome dishes. So let's do this. The first step is to check that your knife is sharp enough, and if it is, you can easily cut through a sheet of paper. Next are the chives. You're gonna hold your knife like this and chop them up into little tiny pieces. Oops. So that was four eggs and I mixed them up with a bit of salt. I'm going in. So the first thing that you need to do is the butter. The butter, Selena. You're gonna do it on a low heat. Stay with your omelette. So you have to scramble the eggs and then shape them back together again. Okay, last you're gonna put some borsin and cheese and then roll it up. Obviously not like this. Ah, that was stressful. It looks pretty deformed. Selena says that in the morning she'll have a piece of ginger, a raw ginger, I'm not sure how to do that, or she'll have a ginger shot. I like ginger shots, yes. I love, you know what it is? It's the butter. So I've decided I'm only gonna do one recipe from Selena's cooking show. For the rest of the day, I'm gonna get my information from other sources. And rest assured, they're very creditable ones, okay? staircase right now but it had really good lighting so I just got out of the uber I had to go into town to do a couple of things but the main reason that I'm going out is to get a Selena lunch I've got to eat what Selena eats and that means well I'm not gonna let you know you're gonna have to wait and find out and also while we're at it I am really active on my patreon you should go check it out apart from immensely supporting my channel you're gonna get a bunch of extra stuff extra content, live streams, one-on-one -on -one FaceTimes, group calls, a bunch of things, giveaways. So make sure to just go check it out. <laughs> okay, let's get to lunch. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. In James Corden's carpool karaoke, they went to McDonald's and she ordered a number seven. Can we get a... Uh... A number, a number, which one? Number seven. A number seven. Now I don't actually know what a number seven is, so we're gonna have to go in and see for ourselves. Oh no. Sausage egg McMuffin. Number seven. The sausage egg McMuffin is my favorite. I have this weird inkling that that's not what she got though. Maybe it's different in America. Maybe the number seven is different worldwide. Make sure you comment what your number seven is. Oh, we also got nuggets because why not? Who's your favorite girl celebrity? Selena Gomez. 
Who's your favourite girl in the world? No comment. <laughs> so obviously I know that Selena's not going to be going to McDonald's every single day of her life. What I can say from what I've read and all the research that I've done from the articles that she may or may not have quoted in is that she doesn't exclude any foods and everything's in moderation. But she does put a focus on whole foods rather than fast food. But if she does want to have fast food, she will. So that's, that's a thing. just about to make dinner but before I do that I decided I'm gonna do another Selena inspired look now I emphasize inspired the reason that I say that is that my pants are pajamas a video just came out of Selena showing us her makeup routine fair enough she has just come out with a whole makeup line and obviously she's using her products and I would have loved to use them but they don't ship to Hong Kong right now it's a very new thing it's Selena does a couple things different to me in terms of eyeliner and lipstick she does a really beautiful cat eye, well she did in the makeup routine, and then she also uses red lipstick. brown sugar. For dinner, I have teriyaki chicken with vegetables and then cucumber and avocado. Specifically, they listed those two things, so I had to throw them in there. And it looks very nice. Wizards of Waverly Place is, is where I found Selena. And then you made a shrine. Where she spoke to me. <laughs> what like guy celebrity would you have a crush on? Maybe I'll go like Graham Norton. <laughs> You're so full of shit. Because You're so full he's of got shit. a stable, consistent appearance on TV. What? What person has a crush on someone because they're stable? You get a crush on someone because they got a stable lifestyle. You go fine. It's better than, ooh, she's so pretty and oh, I really like her. Ooh. I have an agenda. Ask me who I've got a crush on then. Who do you have a crush on? Margaret Smith. Who's Margaret Smith? She works for the council. She's got a very <laughs> stable lifestyle. You know, if we ever thought of having, having kids, that our kids would get good health benefits. <laughs> Okay, it's time for dessert. Ice cream for me. What the fuck? Yum. Yeah. I wanna have a go at that. Hey, what's the spell? Ice cream for me. Abracadabra, alakazam. I like the freestyle, give me some spam. What is it? Wait, it's pepperoni. I wanted ice cream. Well, then why did you ask for spam? I freestyled. You got it. I'm the peacock. You got to let me fly. So in honor of Selena's new number one. It's a great song. <laughs> I don't know if it's number one, but it might be. So I guess your beard's gone. That spell was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we should continue that scene. It was just getting worse as, it, as we went on. I mean, I did say I would continue it, so. Sorry. It was against my will, if everyone knows. They need to know that every skit we've ever written has been written 20 seconds before we made it. It's true. And then once we've done it, we're like, well. We have to follow through. We've gone this far. <laughs> we even had one skit that we did where we talked about a urinary tract infection. Yeah. Let's just say the last guy that did it now has a urinary tract infection. <laughs> Well, I already had one of those. You can't get it twice. That is not something that was thought up, you know, over weeks. It was thought up literally. I was like, <laughs> hey, let's say this. Thank you, Selena, for having food in your day, because then I could eat it. Thank you, Selena, for being you. Yeah. And a real, real inspiration to many people out there. It'd be an honor if you told your inspired following to, to like her video. Just specifically that one, nothing else. And to be honest, I wouldn't care if if, if it only got one like. If Selena liked it, I think 
I think that would that, that would, would that would cure a urinary tract infection. Yeah. Like this video for, for Selena, Selena to, to like, like the video. Because if you like it, YouTube will, will knock on Selena's door. I, it's a thing. Bye. Don't, don't.